Welcome back folks to Snow Runner, my own hardcore mode. So you should have seen in the beginning of this video the rules that I'm going to follow for my own self-imposed hardcore mode. Right now we have a deliver or we have a mission to accomplish. And that is missing machinery. So we have four spare parts. We have to deliver them to the factory. And we have to go find them. Which, thankfully, the map or the game tells me where they're at. And this is our first one right up here. Let's get some light on the subject. And these are not in very good locations. So it kind of tests your craning ability. And let's activate our crane. Drop my landing legs. Uh, come on camera, okay. Need to make sure they deployed. And we will pick up the first one. Because I want to get this mission done because I have another mission. I'm going to do the not a drill mission. I'll complete that. Uh, which means I will have to deliver the construction rig trailer. What's going on here? Oh, for some reason it's twisting around. Alright. We'll try it here. I should be able to load it from there. And pack my cargo. Store my crane. And now we get to do the next one. Now the first time I did this mission I actually ended up flipping this truck twice. Trying to get it up here. So we're going to see if I can do it going backwards. It's right there it is. And this transition here. you are not careful, we'll flip you over. There we go. And then activate my anchors. Make sure they are out. And then pick up this next one. I yep, kind of missed it there a little bit. <coughs> That's much better. Unpack it to repack it. Restore the crane. And I am ready to get out of here. So this needs to be delivered back to the factory. And then I need to get the other two. And by the time I get there, it should be daylight. Whoa. 
wasn't good. Because the other two are in a really bad place. And I really don't want to do that part at night. Because it's hard to see, it's in amongst trees. And it's more like a goat trail than a road. And we've got to get this mission done because we have to go back to the town and pick up wood to complete the Nauta drill mission. This will be half of our load delivered. Now we need to go get the other two. What time of day is it? It is... Eh, I may have to do it in the dark. At least begin it in the dark. The other two times I've done this mission, it's been the last mission that I've done on this map. I completed everything else and left this for last, and there's really no sense in that. Uh, it is like the highlight mission of the map, but you can pretty much do it any time that your trucks are able to. And there's another mission that I really hate to do. Uh, I failed at this mission so many times. But it is the... It's a mission where I've got to go around and check... Something's... Uh, I've got four different locations I've got to get to, or three locations. And I have to do it in first person mode but it's going up and down mountains and timed event and I really hate doing that one because again I've failed at it so many times because there are certain times when I like to use first person but then tricky areas I really like third person and I still have to look up, see what, is there a second person? I don't know. Okay, so my fuel should be good. That's not the road, is it? Nope. That is the other road. Keep meaning to come over and check that road out. Uh, but where the containers are, what I've been doing is going down and getting them and then turning around and coming back out this road. And I think you can go straight forward from the last container and you can come out, out that road over there but I can't find that road when I'm down in there. So 
So I know I passed the area, but I like to come down here and turn around because it's easier to get up in there. Especially when I'm loaded, it'll be easier to come down here and turn around to head back and to try to make this sharp corner. it's kind of at an angle well not kind of it is at an angle Let me pull up there back up a little bit trying to get the truck a little bit leveler a little more level activate my anchors and we're starting to get some daylight. That's good. Not so much for this one, but for the next one, daylight helps. That's wrong. I need to go out a little bit more. That'll be close enough so that I can pack it. And restore my crane. Go down to low gear and put my diff lock on. How somebody lost these down here, I have no idea. The other two times I've done this, I've loaded it and then turned around. So this time I think I'm going to do it. Turn around and then load it. And then push that out of the way a little bit. It should be good. It's nice and level. Or as level as I can get it. Get around the right side because that is the high side. That should be close enough. All right. And you can see what this road looks like now. So that area is not the most fun to navigate in the dark.
and you can also see the transition there. You try to go to the right. So I like just coming down here. It's downhill and going to the left and then turning around. Still need that bigger engine for this. Two things I'm missing are the, well, the snow runner gears, the bigger engine, so I can get the bigger tires. But I have to level up in my ranking before I can get low, uh, bigger tires, or better tires. But I think we got this one licked. So the next thing will be to pick up my trailer that I left up here. Right, I'm going to get through these rocks. Yeah, a little bulldozer. They can put a mission in here with a little bulldozer and you can go around and move all these rocks. I think that would be a pretty cool mission. But uh, we'll pick up our trailer, we'll go get wood, we'll take it out to the drilling site. I need two woods. And then we move, we finish moving the construction rig trailer. once it's in place then we can complete the not a drill mission is good. Hey, I've been promoted to level 7. Wonderful. My next big goal is to get to level 9 because I can get tires for several of the vehicles. Get the um, off road tires. All right, off to the lumber mill. I 
thought of something else too where in my other playthrough when I was finished with this map and I moved on to Smithville Dam I sold off all my trailers and then when I got to Smithville Dam I bought trailers back again and since I cannot buy trailers I can only sell them it means that all of these trailers that I have uh, I am going to have to actually drive them all over to the Smithville Dam if I want to keep them but there will be a couple of trailers that I do not keep uh, that four axle red trailer I'm gonna go ahead and sell that because I don't like pulling that and the uh, ramped flatbed go ahead and sell that one because I can get another one of those on Smithfield Dam Should have my fuel trailer up here on the right, but I'm not going to fuel up because I do have to drive right by the garage, so I will refuel at the garage. That trailer is mine, I found it, I get to keep it, so any fuel I get out of it, I don't have to pay for, but I don't want to run it dry. Once I run it dry, there's nothing I can do with it. I can't sell it and buy it back full. So I've got to be conservative with the gas in the trailers that I find. And actually, I only have one more mission out this way. Once I complete that, then I should be able to haul that trailer back. And something else I was thinking about last night before I went to bed. Uh, is that when I do empty a trailer if I wanted to I could exploit the game a little bit and park the trailer next to the entrance to the garage and then keep bringing a vehicle out of the garage bring it over to the entrance to the garage put all of the fuel in the tanker from the vehicle and then, re then uh, enter the garage and it will fill the vehicle back up and I can keep doing that over and over to fill the tankers back up but again that's exploiting the game a little bit but it is all the fuel in the garage is mine so I'm still not sure how I feel about that But we'll see once I start running out of fuel. And I do have the huge, was it 7,000 gallon or 5,000 gallon tanker that is over on the uh, island, was the, shoot, I forgot the name of it. not Drummond Island Lake. So I've got the huge tanker over at Island Lake that is mine. And I have three 
other fuel tankers over there that will be mine. And I also have three scout trailers with fuel in them. That'll be mine. Uh, because Island Lake does not have a gas station. So they put a lot of tankers out there. So I did work out of my head uh, when I was playing my other playthrough, a scenario, because it really doesn't tell you much in this game about why you're here and why you get to keep trailers and vehicles that you find. And I kind of felt like I was maybe stealing trailers that belong to somebody else or stealing vehicles but then I worked it out in my head that I'm not really stealing vehicles uh, Michigan hired another company to do all of this and that company brought in all the equipment and then took the money and didn't do any of the missions didn't do any jobs they were hired for, and they split with the money. So, I figure the local judge confiscated everything because they didn't complete the missions, and that's part of the deal for me completing all the missions is that the old company's trucks and trailers and stuff that they brought out to do missions will become mine. That way it's not like I'm stealing something. And it probably seems a little idiotic, but... Uh, that's how I just work it through my brain that all of this stuff I'm getting belongs to me. It's not like a finder's keepers thing. I was a kid we used to run out run in the woods a lot motorcycles and four-wheel drives and stuff like that and way back up on a mountain there was an old flatbed trailer and it was kind of like the uh, the uh, two cargo trailer for the scouts in this game and just sat out in the woods and I remember seeing it probably a couple of years, hadn't moved, sat out there, there were no houses anywhere near it, and a buddy of mine kept saying, I want to get that trailer, but it's abandoned, nobody wants it, I'm going to get it, kept telling him, no, somebody will want that trailer, it belongs to somebody, you just don't take a trailer like that and just leave it in the woods someplace, and one day he decided, nope, I'm taking it and he hooked up to it and pulled it out and about five miles from where he picked it up there was a house and he drove by the house next thing you know the owner lived in the house was chasing him down that was his trailer 
and whether he just forgot it was in the woods or what, he recognized the trailer when it was pulled by his house and caught my buddy and made him pull it back and actually put it in his yard. So when you find something out in the woods, it does not necessarily mean that it does not belong to anybody. Luckily the guy said he would not press charges. I kept telling my buddy don't do it, but he wouldn't listen. one of those life lessons learned. Shoot, I was talking and I missed my turn. So if you haven't watched any of the other videos, um, the trailer that I'm pulling is a two axle trailer. Got an axle on the front, axle on the back. And those are easier to pull off road than the four axle, tra oh shit, four axle trailers. The ones that have two axles in the front and two axles in the back. Those are mainly for pulling things on hard road so it makes it harder to pull if you use one of those and right now I have three I believe of these trailers the two axle ones and I have one four axle at the garage so that's definitely one I'm going to sell Get my mission up. Did I need? Oh, no, wait a minute. I needed steel. Yeah, I need two metal beams. So I'm actually going the wrong way. Which I can fix that. Back of my mind, I knew I was going the right way, but I was just, I had the wrong load in my mind. And the game gave me damage because I was stupid. detach here because I have to load everything manually it means that I have to load one metal on here bring it out put it in a trailer and then come back in and load another metal
So that should have loaded my metal down there. Yep. So now I deploy my crane. Because I don't want it to hit the side of the building and flip the truck over when I'm inside here. And if any part of the truck is in the red zone, it will not let me load up. So activate my anchors. Activate my crane. Come here, raise the boom up. And attach. Yep, one high enough. Detach it and then pack the cargo. Store the crane, transfer the load, and then come back in and get another one. Swinging just right. Nope, a little bit off. I didn't think I was as high as I was. And that'll do it. And actually, just leave my crane out. My anchor's up. And ready to go get the next load. You do not have to worry about power lines in this game. Uh, if you've got something, like if I left my crane up, uh, it'll just phase through power lines. Here, out of the red box. And then cargo. I want to pack my frame back. So, I have to go back into crane mode. Sometimes it'll do that when you do the cargo. It'll automatically pack your crane back, and sometimes it won't. closer I get to the load, easier it is for the truck to pick it up. Activate my anchors, or landing legs as I call them.
It should be good enough. Pack it. Restore the crane. Parking brake off. Menu off. And ready to run. No, I'm not going to do that. I was just thinking you know, I could go ahead and put another steel down there. It'll save me a step, but then it'll be harder to get in there. Next time I have to pick it up. Alright, ready to run. You have to be careful with that ditch if you hit it at any kind of speed. You can flip your truck over. I've been thinking about giving World of Tanks another try. See if maybe, because I haven't played it in, shoot, probably close to a year. I got tired of uh, people just screwing up everybody else's gameplay on purpose. So I really haven't fooled with the game. I love the game. I just don't like other people in the game which is why I like these solo games or co-op games that you can do with friends that way you know people aren't just trying to ruin your game but I've been thinking about trying it again and posting some videos and seeing if it's uh something I want to start playing again see if it's gotten any better come on you can make it up here it's much easier to go around that than go through there it's going through there can be a pain in the butt with a heavy load it's real soft mud And I would probably end up having to try to winch this thing up the hill. Or I could just go around. It makes it much easier. Especially when you do the timed event. Where I've got to get consumables from the farm and bring it over here. Uh, that can save you about 20 seconds. By going around that instead of going through the mud same way with here you just go up here then you avoid the mud and that really big tippy area there and then you but you have to slide over uh, when you get to the tree because in the area here to the right there are some hidden stumps I think there are two of them, and they're right in the bushes. So you can't see them until you hit them. And I was hoping to have daylight to do this mission. Pulling the uh, construction rig trailer through the uh, river, but... I don't think I'm, uh, I have much daylight left.
Just an inch. Alright, so we got everything we need. We have the metal beams. So two metal beams. We have the oil rig drill that's sitting there next to it. So now all we need is the construction rig trailer, which I did bring uh, two episodes ago. I had to make a delivery up here, so I went ahead and picked it up and brought it down this road and parked it here. Now you can bring it all the way around, but that is a very long journey and then when you get down here you can't take it up through the mud here uh, it sits too low so you'll have to uh, the people that I've seen that actually made it through here have been in co-op mode and they've used three trucks to get it up there but you might be able to slip it past the way I do I haven't tried it So I don't know, but right now I've got the Navstar over here. It is hooked up to the trailer, and I have the uh, Western Star on the other side to give it some support. So I've never used the Navstar to pull this through the river. I do know that fully upgraded, the Fleet Star can do it with the help of a Chevy pickup. And I also know that fully upgraded, the Western Star can pull it through here. It'll have to winch itself, but it doesn't need any help from any other vehicle. So whether or not this can pull it through here, I don't know. I still have highway tires on it, but they are the bigger highway tires. This is full-time all-wheel drive, so I don't have to worry about switching it. And what I should have done was put the extended winch on it. I forgot about that. Because with the extended winch, I could hook to that telephone pole right there. So far, this seems to be doing pretty good. The progress is slowing down a little bit. But it is still forward progress. And again, I've got highway tires on here. I don't have the uh, off-road tires yet. And that's where my progress ends. So let's attach the winch. Do I have any winch points? I do. But that will not reach the pole. I don't want that one. Yeah, that might give me a little bit. Give me enough to get it kicked. Nope. So let's try that one over to there. I don't know if that'll hold. But maybe. I'm 
get my forward momentum up again. And I lost. any of those are going to help me but I will try see if I can get the cab pulled over a little bit oh they did do good that's as far as it will help me alright so let's switch trucks see if I can't give it a little helping hand. So I do not have good tires on this truck either. But what I do have on this truck is a winch point. Come on, baby, you can do it. Solid ground. It's as easy as that. So, whoop. Watch out for the tree. Let me get this up out of the way. And make sure I do not miss my turn. I have done that before. Went way up there and had to back that construction rig trailer all the way back down here. That was not pleasant. So let me get this down here out of the way. Back on the road. Now this truck has a better, this truck and the Fleet Star have a better turning radius than the Nav Star, but I think I can still do it with the Nav Star. So I will park you there.
Back to the Navistar. My light's going way over on this side. So I don't have an issue with that guardrail. Start my turn really late. So now I'm going to back up. Do a wide a turn as I can. And easy peasy. This is one of the reasons I didn't want to do this at night, because there are stumps along the road. And at night you can't see the stumps unless they're illuminated by the headlights. So there's one off to the right there. Stay to my far left, take this tree out. Swing around to miss this tree. And it should clear that tree with no problem. Go to my far right. And do the same thing with this tree. Trying to keep as much of the trailer on the road as possible. Swing wide here and do the same thing I did at the other curve. Only I've got to watch the stump here. Because I have to be able to clear those trees right there to my left. believe that has done it. Stay as far right as I can because of the rocks. Yep, cleared that tree. And the trailer will probably scrape the rocks there, but that's okay. Stop the engine and change my trucks again. I think they did something to the river here in the 5.0 update. Because normally you can cross this. It's got a rocky bottom. And you can get across it really easy. And I don't remember the water being over the road in some of these places. So I think they've made it a little bit tougher. over here in case I need you but if I don't need you you'll be out of the way well there's my road Second, I couldn't find the road. Okay, swing wide to the left because of those rocks in the middle. I want the trailer's tires to hit them.
swing wide again. So the only other really tricky part is when I try to go around those tanks because if you're not careful you will beach this trailer and it is a pain in the butt once the once you get it beached meaning that you have uh, the it hits bottom and you can't really see it but right there where the stacks are if you don't swing wide here I mean really wide then the trailer will get caught on that and it's a pain to get out pretty much have to swing as wide as you possibly can to avoid that and the same way over here So it's the first time I did this, I got it beached on that little area right there. And like to never got this thing out. And I was so close. I got it stuck like right here. I was this far away from it. It probably took me 15 minutes to get it out. All right, so stop you, change trucks. Uh, where's Western Star? Go hook back up to that load. There's my trailer. This maintenance trailer is for a mission. I have to pull it over to the, um, oh, what you call it? Smithfield Dam. Okay, can I attach? Yes, I can. And pull you in there. Swap trucks. Go to the Fleet Star because it says it needs the metal beams first. And then we will watch the show. What? Oh, crap. Yeah, I forgot to uh, pack that cargo. Okay, so next is the oil rig drill. So change trucks again. And deliver this. And then change trucks again to the nav star. And we get it completed. Seven thousand four hundred and fifty dollars and seven hundred and forty experience. So I think that's pretty good for a day's work, or two episodes anyway. So that leaves me at. I still have two more vehicles to find. Uh, one is the. What is it? Oh, the other GMC. And I have a what other vehicle do I have? Oh, I got the pig, the P16 to find. So 
So I've got my watchtowers going pretty good on that. Upgrades, I still have quite a few upgrades to find. And I am at level 7, so I need 750 more to go to level 8. Level 9 is the magic number. So I think that's going to do me for today. So if you like the video, leave a like. Uh, also leave me some comments, let me know what I did well, what I can improve on. And I will see you in the next episode. I'm going to get these trailers, or get these trucks back. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this one back with me, because I know that's a mission trailer. And I will have to come over here and get it anyway. So I will see you in the next episode. And until then, have a good one.